So, welcome to an unidentified state that I will only assume is in South America. Thanks to Tiny Build Games, I was fortunate enough to get my hands on Cartel Tycoon, the early access version. And as you know, I've been playing a lot of Ghost Recon Wildlands, and I felt that, hey, it's kind of annoying blowing up all these coca labs and drug lords and stuff like that. So why not just become one? So we're going to dive into the story here. And uh, we're gonna see what all this is about. Tiny Build Games has, of course, released Not For Broadcast, which is a full motion video game that I absolutely adore. And I used to have it playing here, but to be honest, that is a game you should experience firsthand. So it doesn't really work with streaming all that much. So obviously, we got the Latino man looking through the job listings. Man, if, if those job listings are any, anywhere like mine, uh, he's not going to get anyone who actually calls him back. But maybe it works differently. Maybe this guy actually gets someone who actually calls him back, but it doesn't look like it. He's tried a couple of them so far, and... Oh, looks like we reached someone. So, we reached a stranger who was looking for a partner, and he asks if it's love or business. So, let's just go with business, because I don't really want to work in the love department, if you get my drift. Um, I will lend you one of my residents and the cash in its walls. It's simply horticulture, growing and selling flowers. Yeah, I can't do a Spanish accent to save my life. Uh, and I would probably just insult anyone if I tried. So, we're not gonna do that. Uh, rather, we are gonna start with the flowers. And the flowers being... I can't actually remember what... plant goes into opium. Of course, I remember the name in Swedish. But I can't remember the name in... Um, English. All I know is that it's this. I think it's the same plant that you make. Uh, there's a Swedish delicacy we eat at Yule time at Christmas, uh, a lussebulle, and it has. I can't even remember the the other name either. So fuck this. Let's let's skip the baking. And well, we're not gonna skip the baking because I'm fairly certain we're gonna get involved with cocaine sooner or later. So. We are going to establish three opium uh, plantations, and we are going to establish a warehouse. And we're going to build these close by, and uh, I must admit this is not the first time I am playing through this uh, game. In fact, I have a few tries to poke in the sandbox mode and the other. And I realized it doesn't really matter if you try to hide anything or not because it's gonna if it gets detected it gets detected so we have started growing the flowers and the flowers will be heading towards the warehouse here so here is the airport and here is where bush pilots will be flying out the ill-gotten gains so we are gonna move our capo Cesar Garcetti and to the warehouse where he can start delivering uh, the merchandise to the airport, obviously. So we're gonna use the deliver command and we are gonna use him to move it manually. This is not really the best way of doing things. Lieutenants are usually better um, at doing the more advanced tasks but obviously the game just wants us to teach us at this point and we can actually do it like this I didn't know I haven't actually thought about it this earlier but since the most of the transports are going through the aerodrome it might actually be an idea just to have some routes 
that means they don't have to go straight into the city. So once we've delivered the aerodrome, uh, the opium to the aerodrome, the bush pallets will be starting to take off, and we need to uh, deliver. Using the warehouse, we can then set the aerodrome as a destination, and drivers will take it from there. Meaning we don't need to have this guy keep up the deliveries, and. As you can see, it looks like it was a decent idea here to just build that extra road so that our trucks with the goods will reach the aerodrome that much faster. And I don't think it, we can build... no. We can't, we can't actually build here or we w would have maybe tried making another shortcut, but it doesn't look like we are gonna be doing that. So. We're gonna move you to the uh, warehouse because this guy has an ability called truck supplier and that means that he's pretty good in the logistics side of things and that is something you are going to notice a lot in this game that um, different lieutenants are good at different things so obviously this capo here is better at in terms of logistics. However, he still has fairly decent combat power. Some lieutenants doesn't have any, and some lieutenants has a lot of it. So, we got the infrastructure rolling here, with the opium now making its way to the um, aerodrome, which is good. And we can only sell illicit goods through the aerodrome. Now, we are also, for purposes of later, uh, going to establish a farm here that are going to grow vegetables. And you go are going to understand why in a moment. I'm getting ahead of it myself here, but uh, this farm is going to grow vegetables. And we, you, you can select that here, so uh, as you can see the efficiency here is pretty low, but since we are getting ahead of things, just uh, growing some vegetables will not be a problem. I get the feeling they might actually grow uh, some opium before they do that, but hey. So we need to sell 25 units of opium through the aerodrome. And we're about halfway there, so we might as well speed things up a bit. Gotta say, uh, for a ty tycoon game, this one clicks all the buttons for me. And that one being, of course, the fact that it, it feels a bit relaxing. It has the, a couple of decent quality of life uh, elements to it. And... Uh, I must admit, later parts can get a bit frustrating. I'm not gonna get ahead of myself and say what parts. But let's just say I fought the law and the law of one. So, Cesar lugs the last crate into the back of the small prop plane. The pilot approaches him, offering a large black telephone. Digabe! Yeah, I can't talk Spanish. Why do I even try? So, uh... Apparently, this guy knows everything about us, and we need to scrub our hands clean. So, apparently, we've got some legal money now. And the legal money will be used to build a taxi company. And the taxi company will obviously be used to launder the money. So, we are gonna move you to the aerodrome, where you are going to be able to grab some of that very, very dirty money and turn it into squeaky, squeaky clean money. You know, because that's what we do. So deliver and we'll pick up the cash and we'll deliver it to the taxi station. And the taxi station, of course, will essentially just launder the money for us. I get the impression they will not push it in a laundry mat. Rather, they will just pretend that, that it is income from taxi 
sales. As you can see, there's a maximum storage of money that can be laundered at a time. And since it needs to be added into the books, um, it will also take some time to do so. Makes sense. And of course, there are different buildings you can create, but most of them do, of course, require legal money to do so. You can build a casino for um, dirty money as well, but using dirty money is sometimes more expensive. And, I mean, when it comes to a casino, I mean, why would you even need dirty money? I mean, it's sometimes used to launder money, at least here in Sweden. Um, essentially, people are using their gains from robberies and then they just basically turn them into tokens and then turn the tokens out again or something like that. Or sometimes they just gamble with them and then keep the gambling receipts. So, we're still in the... Taxi garage where people are laundering the money and obviously here they tell us that we need to start using our lieutenants and making sure that our drivers can also do things for us so we can have the residence here where we can uh, make sure that money from dirty money will be taken from the residence and laundered. And we're gonna stop the deliveries here and we're just gonna keep this guy at the aerodrome for now on. One thing, yeah, uh, basically when it comes to cash and stuff like that, uh, it's pretty much based around your storage here. So different locations can store different amounts of cash. And you can actually lose these lo locations as well. You're gonna see an example of that a little bit later. So right now we uh, need to uh, make the aerodrome a target for the residents. And we're gonna keep it going. So select the aerodrome as a destination for residence, select the tax company, and then the money will be laundered. And we don't need to do it manually in the same way. Time will tell if that truck will go straight to the taxi center or if it will just go through. No, it looks like that uh, truck will actually go to the residence first and then it will most likely go to the residence so we're gonna take you to the residence instead so we can benefit from the extra trucks that he will supply uh, we got a lot of legal money now so uh, we're watching our trucks with illicit goods ferry back and forth and uh, looks like we need more lieutenants and apparently the drivers are just cogs in the machine but I would say that um, we're still just cogs in the machine. So we need to hire a le lieutenant or lieutenant, as they say in the British. And so the lieutenants come with different skills, different perks, and of course, different upkeep. Some of the um, lieutenants can be truly and very annoyingly so expensive uh, but we're gonna recruit Tony here and uh, he's gonna be our lieutenant and we're gonna increase his upkeep making sure he gets paid so we're not gonna pay him much but I'm gonna pay him in legal money at the very least so you know he gotta pay taxes on that So, it looks like our benefactor has arrived. And he is Miguel Angel Gacha. And let's see what happens.
So there is a seaport in Puerto owned by another gang, and we need to gather our strongest lieutenants. And we are to go there, and we are to mess things up a bit. So, yes, I want you to proceed, and you too. So every lieutenant we got is now heading there too. Uh, so we need to monitor our lieutenants closely, or they will become very, very un unhappy with us. And that is something we should, you know, avoid. So, there's a firefight now here at the seaport. So, we are gonna make sure that we take the seaport. And you are gonna understand why I started growing the vegetables earlier. I only hope we have sufficient of them in stock, but we'll see. Okay, so the seaport, uh, seaport has now been giving the new internal color of red, and we need to uh, make sure that fucking gringos uh, check any cargo that goes by road to sea, so we must smuggle them in local produce, and it looks like our new lieutenant isn't really happy with who we're working with, so this is gonna be interesting indeed. Uh, so you are going to be moved to the no wait you are going to be moved there and actually I want I can't actually cancel the move order but I would like him to move to uh, the um... thing is when it comes to locations you use for smuggling you need to keep a lieutenant there in order to hold the location so that is what we are gonna make make sure that we are doing but since we still want the trucks and uh, want the tr extra trucks that he will provide so we are uh, also going to set down a workshop in order to make sure that the customs officers only see produce so apparently we can also buy produce from a nearby village however I haven't actually seen any way to actually do that just yet so we're gonna set up the workshop and hopefully we can start with the seaport soon the seaport is is on pause but we can unpause it and uh, since we have a lieutenant there and uh, we're gonna be using vegetables and opium and obviously Apparently, I can't. We, I think we might actually have to add the seaport to the destination for the residents. Uh, but I'm not. I'm not actually convinced. Apparently, the workshop needed to have the seaport as its destination. But it doesn't look like they have been given. Well, there goes the opium at least. Uh, no, that was actually the vegetables. So we'll see. Yeah, now the workshop has started. So we're going to skip the seaport in terms of the residence things. So we need to sell 120 units of opium through the seaport. So we're, that is why we established this farm that are currently growing us a lot of vegetables. And we have a fair number of vegetables, and we have a fair number of opium. So everything seems to be going fine at the moment. We'll see when that changes, shall we? And of course we are still using our truck here to launder money through the uh, taxi office right there. So ap apparently the opium is... We're actually... We could actually do with expanding a bit in the terms of opium, so we can build at least two more farms. Make sure that people in the region stay healthy and employed with meaningful work. And I, n I don't know why I like to play connected dots with these roads so much, but it's just satisfying, you know?
So we are increasing our opium production, and that is also cause, costing us some more in up in terms of upkeep. But it should probably not be a problem for us. So the workshop is still going strong here, packing a lot of more opium, but selling that opium is going to take a while. So we can only wait and see what's going to happen in the meantime. I mean, the, the terms, the thing with Tycoon games for me is that they're usually very relaxing. I mean, Sometimes they're not, but often you can actually deal with it in ways that doesn't really ruin your groove. And it's very, very satisfying when you get the logistics to just work out. That is actually one of my favorite things with games like this, just establishing a logistics chain and going with it. So we're gonna be having a look and see that everything is going as smoothly as it can. And that'll be it for now. I hope you like this uh, look on Cartel Tycoon. And we'll see if I will be playing it more later. We're gonna be looking back at this little empire of ours and see if we might even branch out to other drugs. But for now... I think we are going to just save and exit and let that be that. So, once again, thanks to Tiny Build Games for the testing key.